Hi, boys and girls. As you remember from last week, we learned about a special kind of word called a pronoun. And pronouns are words that take the place of nouns. And you guys were all super detectives when you went on your pronoun hunt during your independent reading. I loved your flip grids. I can't believe how many pronouns you found as you were doing your reading for that day. I was very, very impressed. So pronouns are words that take the place of nouns. And here are some examples up here. She, we, they, or them, it, he, they, him, this, you, us, I, me. They're all those little words that take the place of nouns and make things, they're like shortcut words. It makes it easier and sound better and easier to write and talk. So this week, we're gonna break it down and we are just going to focus on two pronouns. And the two pronouns we're gonna talk about this week are the pronouns I and me. And of course, pronouns I and me, they're talking about you, right? When you're talking about yourself. So the pronouns I and me take the place of the writer's name. So if you're writing, you wouldn't call, you know, call yourself your own name. You call, if you're writing, you say, I like. I'm not going to write Miss Dieppa likes pizza. I'd write, I like pizza. So the pronouns I and me take the place of the writer's name. I is the subject of the sentence. So in that example I just gave you, I like pizza. Well, who is it about? It's about me, I. And then the word, and it comes before the verb. So I, and what's the verb? Like, so the subject is me. Who's it about? Me. And what's the verb? What do I do? I like pizza. So if you're talking about I, that's the subject of the sentence and it comes before the verb. Me comes after the verb. And here's some examples and we're gonna do some practice. I have a dog named Dodger. So who is the sentence about? That's the subject, I. And what's the verb, have, right? That's what they're doing, I have a dog. So the I comes before the verb. And here it's Kate picked apples for me. So here you're using me and it's coming after the verb, which is picked. Okay. So let's do some practice. Oh, here's another little remind, a couple more reminders too. The pronouns I and me take the place of your name. Use I as the subject and use me after an action verb. Always write I with an uppercase letter. I know you've heard me say that before, right? I is you. And when you're talking about yourself, you're important. It gets an uppercase letter all the time when it's by itself. And when you talk about yourself and another person, you name yourself last. So I play baseball. My dad helps me. Dad and I practice after school. Sam helps dad and me. So there's certain times that we use it and I can show you a trick too that always helps me remember. So I wanted to do some practice with you. So it says blank saw a squirrel. So a good way to figure out whether it's I or me is to plug them in and try it. Um, so dad and me saw a squirrel, dad and I saw a squirrel, or me saw a squirrel. Well, I had a teacher once and she always told me that if you're ever not sure um, whether to use I or me, then you can take the other, when there's more than one person, you can take the other person or people out. So if I take dad and, if I take this out, I'm just looking at, me saw a squirrel. That's not right. Take dad and, and I leave the I, I saw a squirrel. So when I take away the rest, then only one sounds right. So it's this one would be dad and I saw a squirrel. Okay. Blank found an acorn. Me found an acorn. Dad and me found an acorn or I found an acorn. Well, we know it's not me. That's weird. Me found... That's silly. But if we do the little trick and just take out this one, dad and me, I want to take out the dad and and just leave this one. Again, what am I stuck with? Me found an acorn. That's not right either. So here it would be I found an acorn. Jabber asks blank for clues. Dot and me, dot and I, or dot, or just I. Okay, well dot and me, I don't know if that's right. So let me take out the dot and. So Jabber asks me for clues. Sounds pretty good. 
And if I do the same thing here, I take out everything except the I or the me, and I say Jabber asks I for clues. Now that's weird. So it's dot and me, right? So you're naming yourself last. Dot and me put the acorn in a hole. Me put the acorn in a hole, or dot and I put the acorn in a hole. Okay. Well, if I take out the dot and, that leaves me with just me. Me put the acorn in a hole. Nah, nah. If I take out dot and, and I just have the I left, I put the acorn in a hole. Mm, looks good to me. And that one would be dot and I. So when you're using I, right, it's the subject. It's who the sentence is about. And you always name yourself last. So it was clever of blank to solve the mystery. It was clever of I to solve the mystery. Yeah. It was clever of me to solve the mystery. Or it was clever of me and I to solve the mystery. Well, me and I are the same person, so that's just weird. So, me. Okay? So, again, when you're writing and you're using I, it's always uppercase. Right? So, blank, C, and acorn. Which one should we write there, I or me? I see an acorn or me see an acorn? Well, it's coming at the beginning of the sentence, which means it's the subject of the sentence. And when we use the word I, that's our subject. I see an acorn. It gives blank an idea. It gives I an idea or it gives me an idea. It gives me. So see how I'm trying both of them if I'm not sure. Blank takes the acorn, blank take the acorn home. I take the acorn home. Me take the acorn home. Me take the acorn. Nope, that's not how we really talk. So it's I take the acorn home, right? It's the subject. It's coming before the verb. Right, and here there's the verb C. So if you can find the verb in the sentence too, it can help you. So dot and blank paint it. Well, here's the verb. So we know that the one that comes before the verb is I, dot and I paint it. And again, if we don't remember it that way, we can just take the other people out and it just leaves I paint it. And that's how we know it would be correct. C dot and blank hide the acorn. Okay, so C dot and me hide the acorn or C dot and I hide the acorn. Well, if we take away the dot and, and it's, that would leave C I hide the acorn or C me hide the acorn. Me sounds better there, okay?